Doug here from NV Auto with another Tech Tip video, but this time we're going to talk about timing belts. So when it comes to your Subaru, you have lots of choices for timing belts. I mean, everybody knows about the Gates kit. We have ASIN parts, MSK parts, and then, of course, OEM Subaru parts, and then the parts you shouldn't be using. I'm going to go over a bunch of different things here and give you some insight and things you should know about choosing the correct timing belt kit. Anybody that's interested in buying the correct parts, we have them all here available and in stock at NV Auto. So feel free to shoot us an email or give us a call and we'll get your parts shipped out to you right away. First, we're gonna start off with Subaru OEM parts. These are always an option and we do have co some customers that only wanna use OEM parts on their car. And yes, they are probably the best option because they're right from the manufacturer. They just tend to be quite expensive. That being said, any time that we do a timing belt install at the shop here, whether using OEM components from Subaru or using a Gates or an ASIN kit, we always like to use the OEM Subaru water pump. It's one thing is that we really like the Subaru water pumps. Like I said, it costs just a little bit more money, but the reliability is there. Um, all the Subaru parts are all made in Japan. Go figure, the car's made in Japan. so. When you look at all the parts, you take them out of the package, just factory Subaru packaging. Everything comes packaged super nice. Everything's properly sealed. And you can see, if you look close on these, that everything is made in Japan. So if you noticed on this part, while we're showing it to you there, it had a brand of NSK stamped on the bearing. So here is the exact same part, but not from Subaru, from NSK. So it's drastically cheaper, but made in Japan as well, and has the NSK stamping. So you have the opportunity to use the same as OEM parts, but at much lower price if you take some time to search out the parts. We have NSK available here, but uh, Let's move on to uh, maybe something you shouldn't use. All right, so some examples of parts you don't want to use. Um, you'll see there's a ton of different kits out on the market right now. Um, and a lot of them disguise themselves as being high-end. They have in the names, you know, high quality, premium this, professional that, um, OEM replacement, but uh, they are not the same parts. So this is an example of a cogged idler, just like I showed you from Subaru earlier, um, but it's made in China. You can see that the bearing looks different, has a different bearing in it. It doesn't look terrible. The problem is, is the bearings that are inside of this don't last nearly as long as the OEM ones. And if you have one of these idlers fail on your car, your engine will basically eat itself up. The timing will go out and uh, you'll have valves hitting pistons and whatnot, which is not a good thing on a Subaru, they're an interference engine. So if you do lose one of these idlers, then the engine will fail and then you're gonna be into rebuilding your engine. A lot of these manufacturers being pretty tricky about stuff, they'll just have part numbers on here, sometimes even utilizing OEM part numbers, but not marking that they're made in China or Taiwan or whatnot, but definitely not OEM um, Japanese parts. Same thing with belts now. So this belt is a, I don't know what, doesn't even tell me what it is. I have no idea. All it says on this belt is not to crimp it. And it also does have the OEM Subaru part number on it. So people may be confused that this would be an OEM Subaru belt. It is not. A Subaru belt will have a Subaru logo on it and a Made in Japan logo on it. All right, I'm gonna move on to the Gates now. Uh, it's probably the most popular kit that we sell here. Um, there's a bunch of different options from Gates and you need to make sure that you know that you are buying the correct Gates kit. Um, if you buy a Gates kit on Rock Auto, for example, you are not getting a premium made in Japan Gates kit. So here's a perfect example of a Gates idler 
that is made in China, okay? This comes in their budget-friendly kits, okay? These, we don't sell this part number here in at NV Auto, so you never have to worry about getting the cheaper Gates parts. You're always going to get the premium made in Japan parts. I'm going to pull this brand new kit open. Also, whenever you're getting a kit, you want to make sure it's properly sealed. Brand new, everything is sealed in the box. And I will show you right side by side. These are the same part numbers, but the one in my right hand is made in Japan, and the one in my left hand is made in China, both out of Gates kits. These are these two parts are both out of Gates kits. So a lot of people say, oh, Gates are garbage, they're this, that, and the other thing. You're just not getting the right part number. Make sure you deal with a professional like ourselves here at Envy Auto to get you the right part so you're not putting junk in your car. A lot of people like the Gates Racing Belt. We stock these more than anything. The It's a little bit more reinforced. We still use the same Subaru interval, intervals for these. Uh, but they are a little bit ro ro more robust. Um, and these Gates kits are nice because they come with the belt and all the idlers that you need. So you can see here you have your tensioner, cogged idler, and then also the small idler. A little bit of Loctite to hold everything together. And then a tool so you get your belt guard spacing correct over the crank pulley. One of the nice things about Gates is they do have everything in here very nicely, well organized, packaged nicely. A little bit of instructions to explain to you how to get the belt guides set up properly if you don't have experience. But don't just buy the Gates kit thinking you're getting the made in Japan stuff. Make sure you're buying from a reputable supplier and get the proper Gates kit for your car. Gates also does have this OEM style option. It's just a non-reinforced uh, belt. But as you can see, right on the label, this is from one of their premium kits, made in Japan, okay? When you're buying a timing belt, doing timing components, it is key to buy quality parts. The difference in price is a few hundred dollars, but if your engine fails because you decide to save a few hundred dollars, you're gonna be spending thousands of dollars. As of late, the ASIN kit has been gaining a lot of popularity because they are made in Japan, come very well packaged, also come with a water pump, timing belt, and if you look in the box here, you'll see that all these components are from NSK, just like the OUM ones I showed you in the package. So all these components are all made in Japan, high end as well. And let's see the belt. Again, made in Japan, all high quality products. A lot of people, like I keep saying it over and over again, people trying to save money, but it's just not worth it to save a few hundred dollars when you're talking about Subaru engines, which nowadays are very, very expensive. All right, the last thing I wanna talk about in this video is um, thermostats and water pump gaskets. Whenever you're replacing your timing belt, water pump, anything like that, you want to use an OEM, uh, OEM thermostat. Not an aftermarket one, not a lower temperature one. OEM for the VIN of your car. This is strategic for your cooling system to work properly. Using an aftermarket uh, thermostat is going to be, first of all, it's going to be hard to bleed the car because they're just not as good quality. It is very important. We only ever use OEM thermostats and OEM thermostat gaskets are key. All right, and now down to the last thing. Some kits that you buy are gonna come with a water pump gasket already. This is what a typical Subaru water pump gasket looks like. And at first glance, you're like, oh, this is fine, but it's not. This is made out of paper. Okay, you can just tear it apart. It has absolutely no strength to it whatsoever. And they will start weeping within a year, I guarantee it. And to get to that water pump, you have to pull everything that you just did timing belt wise out to get to it because it's the last thing on the motor. So grab an OEM Subaru gasket, show you here and take one out of the package. 
This gasket is actually made of metal, as you can see, and it has this crush area. This, this area here is what actually does the sealing. So this metal, as you tighten it down, crushes out and gives you a proper seal on your water pump. So say no to paper gaskets, get yourself a good metal gasket and make sure that your timing belt job that you do lasts for years. All right, so in my eyes, the way, and I mean, I've been in the Subaru game now for 15 plus, well, yeah, 15-ish plus years, we'll say. Um, our go-to has always been the Gates Racing Belt with the Japanese Gates components. But as of late, I've been really liking the ASIN kits. So either one of these, you should be really comfortable uh, using them. Make sure when you're buying, if you're not buying them from us, make sure you're getting the made in Japan components. It is super key because I'm going to post, I'm going to post, and I'm going to put in the video here, all, not all, but a bunch of the timing belt failures that we've had over the years. I have lots of pictures of these cheap cog idlers totally falling apart, ball bearings gone all over, or even the small idlers, I've seen those totally fall and explode. And also, um, cheap belts actually wearing through the backside of the belt, not wearing on the cog side, but wearing through the backside. So I'll post those right here. You can check them out. It's a disaster. You don't want to be in that mess. So avoid that. Use quality components. OEM Subaru, a little bit pricey. I get it. But if you want the best of the best, you can go that way. But really between the gates and the ASIN, both excellent parts. And, um, just avoid the cheap junk. I know some people budgetary at the time, maybe it doesn't suit your budget. Wait a couple weeks, save a few more dollars because like I said, 2000, you know, a $200 difference or $300 difference in price will cost you thousands of dollars in an engine build down the road. Even used Subaru engines right now are very expensive. So it's just not something you want to get into. If you have any questions or you'd like some more information about timing belts, question down below I do my best to answer all the questions in a timely manner if you want you can email us info at nvauto.ca or even call or text 905-667-8828 we'd be happy to answer your questions and ship parts out to you doesn't matter where you are if you're in the United States or if you're in Canada we ship all over North America thanks for watching make sure you subscribe have a good one